Hawthorne, and I have some books to share with you today that are available to check out from the Boonville Public Library. First one I brought is called We Wear Masks by Marla Lesage. Now, uh, the author of this book and the illustrator, she is a registered nurse, and in this book, she helps little ones to understand that there are many different reasons that we wear masks. So they go through all sorts of different characters, from artists to uh, to ranchers, to doctors and nurses, and goes through and shows all the different ways that people use masks in their jobs and in their lives to protect themselves. And it helps uh, to explain to little ones why um, we may be wearing masks right now during COVID to uh, protect our health. So this one's a really nice one. Look, if you've got little ones that are still um, you know, maybe a little bit uncomfortable wearing their masks, it can kind of help to normalize that for them. And next up, we have Slice Up Sushi by Shalini Valiper. And this book is part of the Deconstructed Diet series. This is for early readers, so kiddos that are just, uh, that are learning to read on their own. So you can see it's got great pictures in here fun diagrams and this book is so cool because it tells you all about the different parts uh, that make up sushi all the different ingredients tells you where they come from what they are tells you the different ways that sushi can be served and this series is really awesome for introducing kiddos to maybe a type of food that they may have not tried before some kids have not tried sushi and um, really any checking out the uh, nonfiction cooking and food books from the library can be a great way to introduce new foods to kiddos and get them to maybe move out of their comfort zone and try something that they may not have tried otherwise. That one. And for our older readers, I brought Amari and the Knight Brothers. This book is so cool. Um, in this story, Amari Peters, is a student at an exclusive private school but she just found out that she lost her scholarship because um she was being bullied and her reaction to that bullying um caused her to lose her scholarship um pretty unfairly and um she's been having a tough year because her brother quinn went missing the year before um and they haven't found him, but she believes that he is still out there and she wants to find him. So imagine her surprise when she finds out that the mysterious job he had been working was as an agent for the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs and uh, she has been nominated to participate in their summer training program. So 12 year old Mari heads off and she is determined to use this opportunity to find Quentin and figure out what happened to him because um, beyond all else, she wants to bring her brother home. So this book is really awesome. So any uh, middle grade readers, so from you know late elementary school through middle school that are um, fans of fantasy fiction, adventure fiction, I think you'll like this one. And the last book I brought today is for our teen readers. This is Gut Check by Eric Kester. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Mari and the Night Brothers is by B.B. Alston. Sorry. Now, Act <laughs> Gut Check by Eric Kester. Um, this is one of those books that's going to probably make you laugh and make you cry. Um, in this book, Wyatt, um, he it is his dream to join the football team, but it's not because he wants to be this, you know, big popular football player. It's because he sees it as his last chance to bond with his older brother, Brett, before Brett goes off to college. Um, and Brett's their star player, and a lot is riding on them. Their town is pretty um, poverty stricken as a result of some environmental factors in their fishing town. And Brett has a chance at not only winning a scholarship, but helping his town rebound and come back from the recession that they're in. Um, but that's put on the line when Brett suffers from a concussion and Wyatt has to decide if he's going to protect his brother by revealing the secret. Um, of the injury or if he's going to protect his brother's scholarship by keeping the secret. So this book is really awesome. I love the dynamic between Wyatt and Brett and um, it's definitely an intent to read but um, it, I would recommend it both to football fans and to readers that maybe kind of shy away from sports books. I wouldn't necessarily call, even though sports are a big part of the hotline, I wouldn't necessarily call this one um, like a sports book. You don't have to 
understand football because I certainly don't understand football to enjoy this book. So once again, we've got Gut Check by Eric Kester, Amari and the Knight Brothers by B.B. Alston, Slice Up Sushi by Shalini Balaper, and We Wear Masks by Marla Lassini. So you can check out all of these books from the Pflugerville Public Library. Come by and visit us.